Hi everyone, we're going to be looking at the F distribution and seeing how we can find critical values from them. Now, let's recap on what the F distribution looked like first. F distribution is not symmetrical and the, the, unlike the normal and the T distribution, there is a minimum value of zero. So anything which has F distribution takes value from zero upwards. Okay, remember the area under the curve, this called PDF curve, comes to 1. What do I need in order? So we're going to first of all solve the kind of problems, find the value A such that the area to the right of it is that shady region. So what information do we need first? Well, to do that we first need to know what the degrees of freedom are, and for the F there are two of them, one for the numerator and one for the de denominator. Also we need to know, so let's write that down, df times 2 we need. Second thing we need is the alpha. Typically that is 1, 5, 10%. Okay. Now before we look at an example, let's just have a look at a table. Now the F table is probably the hugest table of the standard ones. We have got a separate table for each alpha. So this particular table, big table, will be for alpha at 10% i.1. DF1 here this is for the numerator and you've got one for the de denominator. Here I'm not using the word numerator and denominator, it's using the word DF1, DF2. Okay, another table. So here you've got a separate table for alpha is 0.05. And then yet you've got another table for 0 0.001. Now some um, tables, so these F tables can be can all be kind of condensed into one big table. So some of you might have seen that uh, seen that in in your readings. So let's look at some examples now. Right, say I have. I want I have alpha at five percent and I'm looking for the critical value where my test statistic T follows an F with degree of freedom let's just say one two okay and we want the critical value so here 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 five percent somewhere around here it's five percent I'm after this critical value A just to mention here, these are the degree of freedom, that's one of them, that's the other. Now, the order is important, so F12 is not the same as F21 in terms of the table. So we want F12 at 5%. 5%, I go to the 5% table. Now F12, right, 1 came first, that goes along the numerator, or in this case it's called DF1, that's 1, and in the denominator, DF2. God, that's a typo there. It's not FD, it's DF, obviously. DF2, we've got it there, so the critical value is 18.5128. God, that's a lot of decimal places. 18.51, that's enough. So we have A is equal to 18.51 for this question. So those critical values for the F table are pretty easy to find. Suppose we have some other kinds of questions, let's say probability of F, distribution, degree of freedom 6 and 1, say, and where it's bigger than 58.2044 equals alpha, find the alpha. Alright, so we're using the table slightly different here. 6, 1, right, we don't know which, table, which alpha it is. We've got 5% here. So degree of freedom 6, 1, let's see, at 6, 1. Well, if it was alpha at 5%, the answer should be 234 ish. 234 ish. It's not because the figure is 28.2. So let's try a different significance level of 0.1. So again, let's do that. So it's 6, 1. 6, 1, 58.2. Ah, that is the figure we're after. So alpha is point 0.1 not 
point one. Done. Let's consider another problem. Let's just take that question one another step. Say it's f six one, so it's the same thing, but this time instead of greater than, say it's less than fifty eight point. 2044 is equal to alpha. What do I do now? Remember the table is giving me the area to the right and this time we want it to the left. So what we can say is since the area must come to 1 that this alpha this thing is alpha so here un unshaded must be 1 minus alpha so alpha plus 1 minus alpha is 1 for sure, but what is 1 minus alpha? 1 minus alpha is this. Probability that f61 is greater less than 58.2044. But to 1 minus that is less than is the same as saying that is greater than, so it's probably 6, 1, bigger than 58.2044 and that comes to 1 therefore just I'm taking this whole thing to the other side, that same as saying 1 minus property F6 1 bigger than 58.2044 now this is of the form that I can look up in the table 1 minus what is that figure? Well, we've already seen it from the previous question. It's 0.1, so the answer is 0 0.9. Which huh, kinds of uh, make sense? You didn't have to even. You, the smarter ones of you realize that you didn't even have to do any of this because since I already found that the alpha from the previous question is 0.1, uh, this must be not 0.9 because uh, the area under the curve must come to 1. But if you were robotic and just did this, then you'd still get the same answer. Okay, next property for let's say f for three less than or equal to a number a is equal to 0 0.1. Now, problem here is my table gives me an area to bigger than, right? So this is equivalent to stating f for three, let's say same as because it's same as solving because a is equal to 0 0.9 okay we can look in the table for that however this is my alpha because it's a form bigger than in a this is the alpha and the alphas in the table given one percent five percent ten percent we don't have here 0.9 or 90 percent so, in terms of the F, here is the key result you need to know. That the probability for F, degree of freedom, say, B and C, is less than or equal to A, is equal to, it's like, this is just a rule here, I'm not giving you a proof. Uh, F, but you swap around these degree of freedom, C, D, and you swap around that inequality, become equal to, and this a becomes 1 over a. And that is the rule. So, to apply in this context, we would say that probability of f for 3 less than or equal to a is the same as saying probability f three four because I swap the degree of freedom around, swap the inequality sign around, one over a so we want and this is equal to naught point one Okay, so to be clear, we are now not using this method because it ain't tabulated. 
we're using this rule instead. So we need to look up in the table for this critical value 3, 4 degree of freedom, alpha not point 0.1 alpha is not point 0.1, three degree of freedom 3 and 4 3 in the numerator, 4 in the denominator 4.19 So what we have is that this value, 1 over A, is 4.19-ish. Therefore, if we just rearrange it, for A, same as saying A is equal to 0 0.2386. Okay, and that kind of makes sense because for probability of 0 0.1 in the left here is not that high so we should be quite close to 0 and indeed 0 0.2386 along here so that's it so key result this that it's useful when the probability we're looking for is not is, is, is very high like here we've got as 0 0.9 so what you can do is swap the degree, of, can get an equivalent equation by swapping the degrees of freedom, swapping the inequality sign to 1 over A equals the original alpha. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that because the, that's the last of the tables I need to deal with for now anyway. I've done all the standard ones, normal T, chi square, F. Okay. Enjoy. I'm Phil, Statistics Mentor.